My name is Derek and I will be doing my presentation on the uncertainty reduction theory. I will talk about what this theory is, the three ways people seek info about others when using this theory, and how this theory is used in our everyday lives. The uncertainty reduction theory is asserts that people have a need to reduce uncertainty about others when uh, they first meet them by gaining information um, which means uh, like like somebody that you don't that you're first that you're meeting for the first time uh, you can do some homework on them like you could go around asking people have they met them uh, where they're from who they are like like their their family background what they've done in their past or you can talk to them, or you can have, have like be that person to go up to them and have a conversation with them. But we'll get into that later. Like right now, um, there are three ways people seek info about one about uh, other people. You have the passive strategies, the active strategies, and the interactive strategies. Uh, the passive strategies are more you observe that person see how they behave in a public like setting as such as like in a classroom uh, like 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 how they act and that's how you that's how you get to know them so when you communicate with them you know how they are uh, active strategies are how we ask others about the person we're interested in so say you're trying to talk to a girl and you're kind of nervous and you go up to that you go ask your friend or one of her friends that you know to be like you put me on can you, can you tell her that I like her send a note through somebody else um, that's that's active strategies and interactive strategies is more how I like to communicate through some how, how, how I like to do it is uh, you just have a you go up introduce yourself have a conversation with that person and uh, how we use this in uh, our everyday lives, our first dates, um, even at family reunions when you first meet in, when you're meeting family that you've never seen, that you never met before, um, um, even uh, even like your first day of school, meeting new friends, like at camps, when you're talking to your coaches and stuff, when you first meet new coaches, you see how they act before you go up and introduce yourself and talk to them. Um, and that's, that's, those are some ways of how we do it. And uh, I go into detail for the first date is like, when you, first, when you go on your date, you see how like if you sit down and eat you can see how that person eats uh like if she's if she's messy with it then that means she she's more laid back she doesn't really she's not one of those that's uptight don't really care care a lot or you got the girls that are really neat they put the napkin in their laps just by just by their behaviors their body language and um that's that's it